Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on code coverage report for Python project in SonarCube. In this session, first we are going to generate the code coverage report for the Python project and then we are going to import that code coverage report into the SonarCube server. First, let us see how we can generate the code coverage report to uh, report for the Python project. In order to generate the code coverage report, first we need to install a tool called as a coverage tool. So you can go to the any command prompt and using the pip, com pip um, install command, you should able to install the uh, coverage tool. So pip install coverage. As in my computer, I already installed. That is the reason it is going to give the message saying like requirement already satisfied. But if you are installing first time, first it is going to download the um, coverage um, tool and it will install in your local. Once you um, install it, you can see the coverage tool, whether it is installed properly or not using the coverage dash dash version. So it is going to give us the which version of the coverage tool we are using. The next step is first you need to have a some Python program which basically has the um, test case. So if I see here, factorial is my um, actual Python program and also I written test case for the factorial that is name we are giving as a factorial underscore test similarly we have an, another one is the mount app 2 it is a one python program and also for this we have the associated test cases there now we are going to generate the um, coverage report by running these test cases now let us go ahead and run the um, test case using the coverage coverage run and you can specify the file name for the uh, test uh, Python test case. So factorial underscore test dot by uh, dot py is the test case. Now once you execute it, it says like a one run is test um, one run it ran, and you can get the details of the report using coverage coverage report. Then it basically tells you like a, how many uh, lines of the code your your um, your program has and how many lines it is didn't covered. So in the case of factorial.py, 14 lines are there and out of that six lines didn't cover. So coverage report is going to be 57 percentage. Similarly, I have another test case there. So let us run that one also. Factorial run. Um, mount tab underscore test file now if i run this program in this i have two test cases and if i see the report coverage report this time i can see total 21 lines is there out of the 14 lines got missed so coverage report is the 33 percentage now what we are going to do is we are going to export this um first we need to get this one in the form of the xml so in order to do the um, XML uh, format, you can use the command coverage XML. Then this is going to generate as the XML file. Once you generate this XML file, you can find this um, XML file from here. So coverage.xml is the one which, uh, which basically has the coverage report. Now if I open in the notepad plus plus, now it basically have the information about the how, man, how much percentage it is there and all this information it will be there. Now what we need to do is in order to get the code coverage report in the SonarCube server, now we need to give the path for this coverage report dot xml in the sonar dash scanner dot properties file. Now here we need to add the property sonar dot python dot coverage dot report which we need to give the path for the where we have generated this coverage.xml file. Once we given this file, then when you run the SonarCube um, scanner next time, automatically it will identify this coverage.xml file from this lo uh, location. And this XML will be passed by the SonarCube and it will display the Sonar coverage uh, code coverage report in the SonarCube server. Now, as this is the location, basically I, I generated the coverage.xml. So now let us go ahead and run the SonarCube um, uh, uh, Sonar scanner bat file. And then we will see how it is going to display in the 
sonarcube server now let us go to the bin directory of the sonar scanner and then you can issue the command sonar scanner.bat now when you run this program basically it will look for this sonar scanner.properties file and then identifies the uh, sonar.python.coverage.report path from this it is going to pick this um, code coverage basically coverage.xml file and then it will pass this uh, pass this file and this data will be exported into the sonarcube server so this process is going to take a uh, one to two minutes let us see how exactly the sonar scanner is going to uh, going to pick this file and then it will process the data So this is able to identify the uh, base directory and then um, and then source path and also it identify the quality profile for the Python as a sonar way dash custom py and then it able to identify the parser report from the coverage.xml file that means this now it has taken this coverage.xml file and it will process this data and then finally it will send to the sonarcube server. Now, because of the, there is a timeout exception, uh, timeout error is happened. So I am going to run this program once again, so that when you retry it automatically, this will work. So execution success, uh, execution is completed successfully. Now, if you go to the um, SonarCube server and just refresh for this projects, then we should able to see the code coverage report in the SonarCube server. Now, if you see here, so Sonar Cube uh, code coverage report, it has given as a 32.1 percentage. So, basically, in order to get the code coverage report in the Sonar Cube for the Python project, we need to install the coverage tool, which basically, um, which basically used by the Sonar, um, which used by the Python to get the code coverage report, and then the code coverage uh, once you have using the code coverage tool to generate the coverage.xml file then we need to add one property in the sonar dash scanner dot properties with the sonar dash sonar uh, python dot coverage dot report path you can generate the uh, you can give the path for the coverage.xml file then when you next time when you run the sonar scanner then automatically the report will be picked up and it will show in the sonar cube server Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.